Welcome back. The Order of the Vine. But I don't have time to stop and wait to say that. Okay, oh. What was this say? I will be unavailable for the rest of the evening as I am immersed in my studies. Giblin is also busy, I believe, so if needs be, contact the head guard, Horton, for assistance with any problem. Your humble master. Humble master, yes. Right, so that is the master bedroom. Oh. Oh, we're just here. Okay, so then what's the corridor going directly north of there, then? That's, all, that's the one I need. The one that he walks up. Where's this archer? I can hear him coming. Oh, is this just the stairs to the main hall? <sighs> right. Yeah, I'll be here. Okay, so... I need to find this key. I need to... That's, that's the master bedroom, right? Whatever the secret floor was, it was in one of these rooms, I guess. Or one of these rooms. I think. Uh, so we're going to need to get into the master bedroom. Didn't I have the master bedroom key? Key to master bedroom? I do. It's just labelled wrong. There. Oh, so I should have just gone. Mm. There's nothing there now. It was me not remembering correctly. I don't see why I should have to be the one down here in the cold and the dark and the damp. Okay. So we can get in. I don't remember where I got the key to the master bedroom from. Maybe Giblin had it. Should probably expect all kinds of weird things here. Like doors that open into my face and that get out of sync with each other. There we go. Synced up again. Let's make sure we're not disturbed. Oh wait, didn't he say he was walking? So this room is not empty, right? Surely. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, he looks over the, out over the dining hall. It's really nice. I mean, this this mission has real has very simple architecture by modern standards, but this was uh, two thousand, I think. Something under the bed. I am a man of little consequence. Whether God live or die is not a decision that should be left to me, but this world, the creation of these gods, has been left in my hands. For me to decide his future is pretentious, even arrogant. I would be the one to destroy his vision of the world by following my own wishes instead of his. My only course of action is to continue as my God would direct me. It is his wish, and I am his servant. Then I shall go to the basement, open the portal with the head of our king, and do what I must do. My greatest relief is that soon this abominable man flesh cuddling side of the order will end. The head of the king! Oh god, I remember the reading about the hand of the guy that opens door portals. I don't remember the context. So... Okay, let me, let's check out what's happening up with these uh, rafters, if anything.
doesn't look to me like this. Oh, hang on. CSA doesn't look to me like there's anything there, but there's a suspicious... Well, there seems to be some kind of seams, but maybe it's not suspicious. Texture seams. I don't know. However... We have a safe, which we don't have a key for, right? The master bedroom key isn't going to open the safe. And Giblin's key, I'm sure, isn't. They don't keep a key on top of here, do they? No. Oh, I did see this suspicious book. Oh, that's just how that opens the safe. Okay. Aha! Ancient gold key! Right. And another diary. They love the diaries. This day is one of the happiest of my life. I've been elected as head of the order unanimously. I look forward to creating a more positive view of paganism among the ordinary people. While the Hammerites may not be overwhelmingly popular, they have certainly seen a distrust against us in the people. I hope to change all that. The old master tells me there is a ceremony for the transfer of authority tomorrow. I'm a little nervous. The old man unnerves me slightly. I'm unsure what happened last night. The old man took me a hidden room in the basement, and we stepped through some kind of portal. Instantly, I found myself at an ancient ruin. The master walked inside, and we spoke briefly. He asked me some questions, which I answered in the way I thought he expected me to. He seemed pleased enough. What happened next is still a blur. I was blinded for a few moments. And when my eyes cleared, the master was dead. His body lay hollow and scarred at my feet. I returned to my chamber, but I did not sleep well. I feel strange today. Stronger, perhaps, but ill at ease in this place. The walls seem too straight, the ceiling's too low. I lay in the garden for hours. The grass seems to whisper gently to me, the fountain babbles and giggles, and the bushes seem to bend and twist to my emotions. I felt quite happy. I can hear the plants more clearly, but another voice, not stronger exactly, but always concurrent, underneath everything, speaks to me now. I can't make out what it's saying yet, but it seems in pain, angry. I feel I have to help her, but I'm not sure why. I don't feel I have to help any man here. These people are like parasites to me. I feel nothing for the ones who go on tonight's hunt. It grows more difficult for me not to kill the disgusting... Oh, beasts is too good a word for them. Beasts are noble. His voice is perfectly clear now. I know exactly what I have to do for the first time in my life. Giblin and Rurai will be my acolytes. I'm confident of their loyalty. I will take them to the ruin when the moon rises. Rurai reacted unexpectedly. After I enhanced Giblin, Rurai drew his sword and began to attack me. Giblin was forced to kill him. I feel sorry for him. I don't understand why he was so afraid. We're better now than he was. Surely he could see that. I am perturbed by this. I have not written here for some time. I felt no need before to record these events in such a man-like way. But as I get close to realizing our goal, I grow less confident that what we plan is good. Giblin continues to reassure me, however. I'm sure he would not approve of my use of language as I write this. I met the new head guard today. He seems well trained, well educated for a swordsman, and open to our beliefs. It's not necessary to convert him to our cause, but I think he could be useful, if only for different company. I think Giblin is developing an overestimated sense of his importance. The seal has finally come into our possession. It came with a large price tag, but these manfuls have deep pockets. It is the final and most significant key to his release, should I choose to go on with our plans. My decision must be made soon. Okay, do I carry that with me? Don't think it had any, uh... Any relevant information there for us. Alright. Well, we've got the silver key for the dining room now. And what I've realised as well... Is yeah, what I thought was the seam of the texture is just it's just part of the texture. It's here as well. Uh, the guest room I couldn't get into. Remember the balcony? Great time to turn around, man. Great time.
Yeah, it's one about our two patrols here. These not the guest rooms. No, oh, these are the guards' rooms. This is the wrong side. This is the east side. That's why. Uh... Wait, now it says guard quarters. Did it say guest quarters a minute ago? Am I being gaslit by map? This is guards' quarters. Uh, I wrote locked there, but it's maybe it's here. This is definitely where I came in. Who goes there? Nobody and nothing. Nothing to be seen now. Down behind this guy. Again, I think. Come on, me on, sir. Turn me on. Come on, fence. We don't want this one to walk into us. Could be unpleasantly sharp. <laughs> yeah, just gonna sit there and waste time, okay? now. Oh, right. Right, 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 right. It's just a, it's just a bug in the map. It's supposed to say, one well, of them supposed to get guard quarters and they've got the, the things mixed up. I guess it's fair enough. Order maps are complicated and especially back in those early days. This is a really too narrow ledge. To, to, but... Oh! Or anything. Hmm. Don't know if I should reload that. There's no room brushes here. I don't think we're supposed to be here. I mean, I could get back in following the canal again. I'm not too bothered about the health loss. The bread isn't going to do anything, is it? The bread and stuff is being thief one. But we have health potions, right? I'm going to reload that. <sighs> so it's too narrow to actually even stand on. You're kind of just like floating here. Also means not. 
But surely this is what I'm supposed to do, unless... No. It's like... Mm. Hmm? Good thing I'm not afraid of heights. Yeah, clearly it's intended, but... Given that there's a comment and everything. Can I get under that? Oh, I can just go under. Okay, that's a little weird. But since I couldn't mantle, I guess that works better. Who's there? Nobody. Hello? Nobody. Go back to sleep. Hmm. This looks interesting. <laughs> A rare item indeed. Okay. Okay. You got me with that one. I was not expecting that. I can't believe the ignorance of the other guests. At dinner I announced I had obtained the legendary Face of the Shadows from an Eastern trader. Amid the hushed whispers, I lifted the chest onto the table and revealed its majesty to them. The idiots began to laugh. They thought I was making some kind of foolish joke. I stared at them stunned until the laughter uncomfortably fell away. I turned, quietly left the room and returned to my chamber. Idiots. I asked one of the guards about putting my chest into the treasury. He went to ask the head servant about it. Giblet, I think his name is. I haven't seen him since and it's been several hours now. The tuffer's probably lying around somewhere. All these hired guards are the same. They all they care about is themselves. Unless he's planning to sneak in here and steal my precious face. After all, it's this season's most incredible artifact, despite what the idiots say. I'd better lock the door. Does he have a key on his boot? I know where he is. Started running over. Does he have a key on his belt? He does not. Well, we're not going to unlock his door, but I did explain both the ledge, which I didn't traverse because it looked too narrow, and I wasn't 100% sure it was intentional. Um, because it's it's kind of Garrett going along with his. You know, on his protruding belly here, and just rather than actually walking. Uh, but it is. I realised. I really realised. Uh, uh, you know, at the start of this episode, or in the last episode, what it was I needed to do there. Okay, so now we need to get back to the dining hall, uh, which is yeah. We just go back this way again. When this continues to turn around. Turn around, man, turn around. Come on, before the other guard comes. <clears throat> Thought I saw something. Thank you. Okay. This guy's the guy that got in the dining hall. Quiet, Garrett, quiet. Oh shit, you saw me. Thought I got away with it. Alright, well, you sleep here. You'll be safer than if you run into Giblet. Alright, we have the gold key. Let's see what happens. It's the head. The head of an ancient king. Okay, well we guess we're gonna need that in the basement, but how do we get to the basement? Um <clears throat> Well, not this way. I guess we go back downstairs to begin with.
Would be down here actually. How would I know? I suppose if I found loot in one of these rooms. Dear Brunad, things are going well. This place is sort of odd, but I've made quite a few contacts for the business already. I hope you're alright. I should be back at the end of this week. Try not to lose me too many customers. Your father, Puncher. Guess I've not been in here. There is really no valuables in here, then. I guess not. Aha! Uh -huh. Valuables in here. Ooh. This is the pool room. Which has all the best loot on display, of course. Everybody keeps their best loot on display in the pool room. That's Room is full. Okay, so we've got crates for stacking purposes. <laughs> and one is not enough to see on the upper shelves. <laughs> Two is. And there seems to be nothing. Oh, I don't really want to do any crate stacking, so I won't. This guy ran for the alarm, I guess, but the, since the alarms was disabled, he just gave up. Help! Help! Don't let him get me! Help! Help! Don't let him get me! These guys didn't get suspicious. I wasn't sure whether they might have seen the flash. Uh, then I guess that makes this the easiest stairway to get to. I've been in this room, right? Yes, that's play right. Unless it's the unless this is the stairway that Giblet is camping, it might. Yeah, it is, isn't it? facing. Away from me, actually that could be handy. Whoops. Oh, I didn't even hear that. I don't have any noise makers, so I guess we're going to leave him. This is where we came in, right? So it's down to the basement. There's a power in the basement. Alright, well let's 
save ourselves that hassle. Basement, basement. Did I do that? I should say he's done a number on the guards. No, I did, I, I did a number on the guards. I did a number on quite a number of them. Theater, not the basement. Now we can't get through that way, not safely. Not when he turns around like that. Just lead him to the to the other guys now. Or do I just make a run for it? The library. And I missed these cupboards. <laughs> Chop this down. Very remiss of me. Those are all the. There's clearly another room to the right of this, right? What's going on over there? Oh, yes, basement. Just the wind, I guess. Uh huh. I knew there was something fishy about the basement, but I knew there had to be something fishy because I had it locked, but what is fishy about it? Where Where do we use the silver key? Uh huh. How did I miss that before? I don't know. Wait a minute. Do I need a bronze key as well? Ancient silver key. We've got the head, which clearly sits on here, right? Oops. More on the floor. Now we just want to go on there. There we go. No, I wouldn't drop on there. But I need a bronze key. Who would have a bronze key? Uh, the head guard. The head guard. Somewhere in his room. garden that was the cook <coughs> waiting to meet what's her name <coughs> where's our archer friend
Okay. Alarm system. In case of emergency, push this button. Yes, well, thankfully it's disabled. Right. So the head guard's room was down this way, wasn't it? Uh, no, the guard's rooms were all up there. On the wrong side of the building, yeah. That's easily fixed. Harmless. Leave me alone. Hurry! Over here! I don't know where he came from. That's alright, he can run around and make some fuss. Ow. This guy. And his patrolling friends, of course, yes. Um, da -da. This was not the head guard's room, this was... This is definitely not, these are the guest rooms. Right, this is the wrong, any of the other half, the other corridor. This one, which the guards go up and down. For me, that these two guys are both going at the same time. <laughs> so I think it's the corridor down to the left here. That, of course, I was just recently at. What's that? Who goes? Okay. This was the head guard's room, and he's dead. Right? No, this was this wasn't the head guard. This was Durkin. Uh, well, the head guard's got a dose of support outside this room, of course. This is the head guard's room, right. So somewhere in here you should be hiding the bronze key, right? Master promised to show it to him. Mm-hmm. Research a little more. He doesn't say anything about having bronze key there. This chair is knocked over, which does suggest something happened to him, but what? Don't remember given all the readables I've seen if if we heard anything. <gasps> Wait, no, we found the silver key in here, right? No. 
found a silver key in Giblet's room. I'm going to keep going in Giblet now. Um, found the gold key in the master's room. This guy would have the bronze one. That would make sense. But where is this guy? Who is there? Is someone there? No. Nope. Oh well. I don't know what it was. <laughs> uh Horton. Dirk and that's the mess from Dirk and to Horton. And of course Dirk and some... What was that there? Did you see it? Is someone there? Seems clear enough now. <clears throat> but then Hmm. I don't know where I should be going, to be quite honest. Unfortunately... I don't think I need to keep this. Right, it was incriminating a uh, giblet, but giblet. I don't have any other diaries or anything relevant, do I? Let's. Uh, get my food to trim down my inventory. It doesn't give me health, so. Where would uh, the head of the guard have gone? Let's maybe we check the master bedroom again. Seems doesn't seem right though. Maybe the library, because he said he'd been reading about them in the library. So I've been in the library. <sighs> Got the locked thing. Okay, I was in the library and said, "Well, this is clearly another room here." But what is this room? Have I been in there? I just went to the basement instead. Silly me, I should have gone and checked out that. I wonder are they going to bring me my dinner? That's what I want to know. Turn around. Are they going to bring me my dinner? Turn around. Hello? <laughs> Anyone there? Nope. Well, that'll do it. Odd noise. Yeah, it was rather odd, wasn't it? <laughs> so it's the guy who sits and waits, it is, of course it is. So I have to sit and wait as well. <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs and see if I can see that room to the right of the library and make anything of it. He's facing me, so turn around, man, turn around. Before our other guard friend gets here. Turn around, bright eyes. Quick! Are the guys coming? I don't know what I pay these guards for if they don't turn around when I tell them to. Turn around again, man. That's right. Uh, 
Okay. So downstairs again. Oh. I mean, technically this is downstairs, but this is... Close those doors behind me because I do tend to class it coming down these stairs. It's so helpful not to have that sound leak through more than necessary. Oh, that was you running for the alarm again. Okay. Don't hurt me! Help! No. Save me! There's not doing anything here. to you. Why to come back here again? Oh, that's right. I want the I want the middle stairway here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm going around in circles, and I guess I kind of am. Go down this side, maybe. Right, that doorway. Too much coffee. So the archer's going to come back down this way. Careful. You might walk right into me. <sighs> Wait, so I've been here already. This is the sitting room. Right. But it's not suspicious. Except for the painting, which is a mite suspicious, but maybe not actually so. Hmm. I think I might have to look up where to go for this bronze key because I don't think I've seen it. So rather than just wander around aimlessly again into all the spaces I've been, I'm going to go find a hint. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, well, from uh, what I've read, the bronze key is actually quite nearby where we are now, I think. It should be in the garden. Timing the arrows, those two. Been to the garden. The garden. I thought I looked in the fountain. I don't know why it would be here. It doesn't seem to make any sense to me. This guy's the cook, right? Until he looks away, maybe. <laughs> no? Is he not gonna look away? What's that? Nothing? Nothing? Oops. I guess it was nothing. I guess we could use one of these much wanted <laughs> sand arrows to blind him. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Here's here. Okay. Why? Why is there? I don't know. But, uh... Oh, he's still blinded, right? Close the door. Can I get these to sync up again?
Maybe I can. Or not. Okay. Well, the basement is dead ahead, so we're just waiting for these two guards to give us a moment's opportunity and we can continue. Well, yeah, stripping me straight in front of a spider that turns into lots of other spiders. Not very happy about that. If anyone is reading this, I'm going to try to kill this master tonight. That god of theirs, if released, will reduce us to animals. I think with the hammers around, I would believe we have deviated too far from its expectations. I don't know how it would do it, but I doubt it would ask us nicely to give up civilization. The ritual must be happening tonight. I don't know exactly what's involved, but I know it must be stopped. It shouldn't be too hard to sneak past Jiblin into the basement. He barely seems aware of anyone but himself these days. I don't even know if these things can be killed, but we'll see if he can breathe with a sword in its neck. Horton, formerly head guard of the Order of the Vine. Well, Horton... Horton heard a who and decided he would try and save the world. We might need our help, it would seem. Ooh, this is very moorish. Also, has us walking on. We have the lava is transparent yeah. strange to have a patch of grass there <laughs> I'm just checking to see if there's any kind of valuables you never know in these places you never know I guess that's Horton. I guess. We have to try and make our way across the vines in the right order. Shit. Ah! Not like that. Also not like that. I was trying to mantle the ledge instead of jump onto it, but I didn't realize the vine that was there it didn't go quite low enough, so. All right. Do it again. Ah! Do it again. I don't know why I'm having trouble with that. I didn't hear that anyway, so... Guess that's okay. Hello? Do you 
different passages. Oh well, this one isn't getting me anywhere uh, that I want to go, I don't think. Down the stairs it is. A mix of Lost City and Moors. Almost a little strange. Hello? Does that go anywhere or is that just... No, it's just eaten out, eaten away. Oh, I see, but I could put a rope in there. And get down relatively softly. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> You can see the stairs. So, hmm. Is that the seal then floating around in the Cool. We can probably knock out these crays. Just don't kill any humans. Is the master a human? Do we know? Can we uh, put out these lights? No. Don't waste our arrows then. For no particular reason. That's gonna get somebody upset. Maybe not yet. All these pillars are changing size too. I like that. You don't often see uh, scale tweaks put to good use. Right, the master, wherever he is, is going to be upset about his friends. Friends? I don't know if they're friends. They're about finding the unconscious Kramen for sure. Where did they go? Ah, they're over there. Really are short range, aren't they? I'm gonna try to sound them in the face and then knock them out. Missed. Oh, well, let's just try and knock him out then. Try again, we see ball. Oh, wow. That was... very cool. Now, oh, let's not try save. Seems super alerted now. It's not working. <laughs> My blood is for the Lord, not you. 
It's me, not. Try again, we see, fool. Let's clean it up. That's gotta be the seal that we need. Right? Do we go through this portal? I don't surely not. I mean maybe we should try. Uh -oh. oh, shit. Yeah, I think, I think fighting the trickster face to face is probably a bad idea. We've got, we've got the portal. Let's escape to the city streets instead. I think, I think that's a better plan right about now. Come on, Horton. People deserve to uh, at least find your body. What's... Oh no, I'm not going to bring be able to bring you back, am I? Well, I'll bring you back as far as I can. So I'm not going to be able to make those jumps, vine jumps again. Oh, or this one. Okay, but <laughs> I'm not going to rescue you, Horton. Sorry, I'll just leave you there. That broken stairs needs me to make a jump, which I could not make while carrying you. <clears throat> Ouch. <sighs> it would be kind of funny to have gone and, like, uh, Use this fire arrows and sword and stuff on the trickster there, but I think that would not work. He would probably be too strong. Alright. Oof. I must walk into the lava there. Okay. Back again. I yeah, would not have been able to make those jumps, vine jumps, while carrying the Horton. No more spiders lying in wait for me? Okay. something but it didn't break the portal. Guys, I think something weird is going on. So escape to the city streets, so we just head out that way I guess. No, that's that one's closed, right? We have to go out the front door. That's 
better. Right. You know what? We don't need to fight these guys. Who is there? Intruder! Shit! The gate's shut. We've got fire arrows. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, this is not, this is not working. Uh, what am I going to do now? Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Uh, I need to change a plan. I need to change a plan. I was not expecting that to be a problem. See archer friend coming. Okay, so we're gonna have to go through the main hall, I guess. And I guess I don't have to come this way, but. So let's take out these arches on each side. Rather than try to get away with a flash bomb. It was nothing. Put the gate down. Hopefully, this gate can. Uh, put the drawbridge down. Hopefully, this gate controls as well. More trouble to get out than I expected, which is kind of interesting. You, most missions make it very easy to get out, but uh, I had not realised that exiting was going to be need strategizing of its own. Which I kind of like. I'm not a fan of things that make it. You know, I'm not a fan of the classic Oblivion dungeon where, I mean, it's not just Oblivion, but it's extremely common there, where you go down a big, long, circuitous route through layers and layers and layers and layers and layers and layers of dungeon, and deeper and deeper into more and more defended places. And then when you get to the bottom, there's just a, there's just a, you know, an exit door that leads you straight back out to the top. <laughs> okay. Now we can probably get up behind these two guys. But careful. I don't know if that's noisy floor or not. They're standing on it. Might be noisy sand or something. So I'll have to be careful. Yeah, I like I like exfiltration being a separate challenge from infiltration. Is very cool. It's not noisy, okay. <coughs> okay, easily blood done. For blood. blood for blood. I mean, it sounds like a fair trade. Guards, for you know, professionalism's sake. Does this 
open the gates as well as do the drawbridge? Yes, it does. All right. So at last we can go. Well, uh, strange things are afoot. How do we do stats wise? Uh, well, we missed a bunch of secrets, right? I only got two out of five secrets. And apparently, there's two more pockets I could have picked. Interesting. Uh, so that would that would definitely count for all the extra loot that I for the secrets and pockets. Maybe there's a piece or two I missed, but I think I got most of the uh, loot scattered around. Instance killed none. Others killed seven. Is that six spiders and one master? Um, some some others were killed by me as well, but that was that was difficult to doing. So, um, oh, so you say there's the order of the vine? No, there's there's an epilogue. There'll be a few drunks and homeless wandering the streets. Don't kill any of them; they're harmless. This artifact is too hot for your usual pensers. Meet the hammerite, make the exchange. He should still be living in the same hovel. Forgot we had been hired by somebody, right? So he was out this way. It's been raining, the water's puddling up in the streets now. As long as we don't run into Hammer Man. Who are you? Where's the hammer? Uh, reunion with his old brothers. I see. Excuse me. Uh, however, I'm willing to pay twice his price. Do we have a deal? Why didn't you say so? Here, take it. It's been more I trouble than it's know worth. about that. Thank you. Here's your money. Who are you, anyway? <laughs> My name is Victoria. I'm sure we'll meet again, Garrett. Well? <laughs> Good night, Victoria. I wanted to read what uh, she was carrying, but I guess I can't. Well, that was the Order of the Vine. Uh, a very cool mission. I don't think it really fits into the Thief Can, because, like, by the time of the events of the Dark Project, Garrett had no clue what was going on. Whereas if he had been through all this, he would have at least had half a clue. Um, but never mind. Very cool expl exploration of what might have been before the events. The uh, tricks of influence growing in the city as well. Well, and that's it for this mission. So, thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon for the next one.